Number 5 from the 2008 Vans tyre, there you are. An implicit equation, get the derivative and get the equation of the tangent to the curve. It says an equation. It doesn't actually mean that there's going to be several you're going to find, because in this case, what it's saying is this little bit at the side says you're only considering the portion of the curve in the first quadrant. Because whenever you've got curves of this nature, they snake around like circles and ellipses and through all four quadrants. So any particular x, there could be two tangents. So that's why it says of an, sorry, an equation of the tangent x equals 1. So in other words, it says find the equation of the tangent in the first quadrant. Right, what have we got? First part. Differentiate this. Right, fair enough, it's just the normal rules of differentiation. So you just could be using the product rule. So that'll be differentiate the first in this particular term. So x will just go to 1. I'll just put it down explicitly. And leave that alone. And then leave the first one alone and differentiate that. Well, the derivative with respect to y would be 2y. And since that's also a function of x, then it'll be dy by dx. Plus, again, another product. So I've got differentiate the first part. So I'll call that 6x, leaving the y alone. Plus, leave that first part alone, 3x squared, times... And the derivative of y with respect to x is just dy by dx, and that equals 0. Now gather that lot up to get dy by dx. So I want dy by dx on this side and the rest on that side. So what have I got for dy by dx? I've got a 2xy, and I've got a 3x squared. That's not and not involving that, unfortunately, will all be negatives when I throw them over. So I'll have a negative y squared, and how much way around I'll put it. I've got a negative 6xy and a negative y squared. And then it's just take that across and divide, and there you are. I think what I'll do is I'll take that negative out, so I can just leave that part as 6xy plus y squared on top, with a 2xy plus 3x squared underneath, because that looks nicely and symmetrically balanced. There. Then part 5. Find an equation of the tangent to the curve where x equals 1. Well, if x equals 1, then feeding it into the coordinate equation, we'll give me the coordinates, so putting 1 into that leaves me with, I'm going to have y squared plus, and if 1, plus 3y, take that 4 across, minus 4 equals 0. So there's a little quadratic just to factorise. So factors of 4 that differ by 3 must be 1 and 4. That goes to the greater one. In other words, y equals 1 or y equals negative 4. But it's in the first quadrant to say that. So that means that y equals 1 as y was greater than 0. Now that I know that x is 1 and y is 1, I can feed it into this to get the gradient. So it's going to be the negative of, now if x is 1 and y is 1, that part 6. If y is 1, that part's 1. That part will be 2. 2 times 1 times 1. And 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3. So the gradient's going to be negative 7 upon 5. Then the tangent. Well, all you need for a straight line is a point on it. I've got a point on it. Maybe I'll state it explicitly. That was the point 1, 1. And its gradient, and I've got its gradient. And then you can just feed it in. y minus b is mx minus a, if you wish to write that first, or just go straight in with y minus 1, is negative 7 fifths of x minus 1. So it'll be 5y multiplying this side by the 5. 5y minus 5 leaving the negative 7 for that side, negative 7x plus 7, and then rearrange that into any form that you're happy with. Obviously, these two numbers will have to go together in your final form. So just take it over to one side. 7x plus 5y minus 12 equals 0 would do, for instance. There it is.